let's begin by going over the fundamentals of input files. White space insensitive. Expressions. Comments. Let's take a closer look at how to input pitches. Remember, Lily Pond is case sensitive, so always make sure to use lowercase letters when inputting your pitches. Next, we'll take a look at note durations. The way you input durations is by simply placing the number right after the pitch. So for example, if you wanted a whole note C, you would put a lowercase c and then a 1 next to it. The same concept applies to rests. So if you wanted a whole note rest, you'd input lowercase r and a 1. Accidentals. If you would like to use the English naming for accidentals, you have to include this at the header section in your score. Now you'll be able to input sharps and flats as S and F, or SS and FF. A time signature can be set using the time command. Tempo indication and metronome mark can be set with the tempo command. The clef can be set using the clef command. And finally, a key signature is set using the key command, followed by a pitch and either major or minor. The easiest way to enter notes is by using relative mode. In this mode, the octave is chosen automatically by assuming that the following note is always to be placed closest to the previous note. You can input larger intervals even if you're using relative mode. Relative mode can be confusing initially, but it's really easy once you get the hang of it, and you should be using it in almost all situations. So that's a quick rundown. Let's build a score together and see how everything fits. First, let's input our version statement. And let's put a comment here. I'd like to use the English syntax for accidentals, so I'm going to add that line here. And notice how Frescobaldi offers autocomplete, which is a great feature. And now we're ready to input some music. I like to put each bar on a separate line, but that's not required. And how about a time signature change? Let's do... 3, 2, and we'll put some half notes here. 
And how about a cleft change? Let's do alto. Now, if you want to change the time back to 4-4, four, four, but you would rather have the numbers instead of the C for common time, just include this command here. Numeric time signature. And then do your normal time command. And let's finish with a whole note C. Don't forget your closing brace. And let's engrave this and see how it looks. Now this is the default output, and this is how it looks when you're not using relative mode. Let's try it with relative mode this time. And let's make it relative to middle C. And now, when we engrave the score, notice over here how it looks.